Shut it, man! Hey yo, I start today's video with news that Scott Hall, aka the one who looks like Elvis, has passed away. The Hawk's pretty sad. Scott for me was the greatest to never win a world title in a major promotion. The guy was just surrounded by a cloud of coolness. I've joked about his time in TNA wrestling in the past when Scott was obviously battling some demons, but despite his less than impressive performances, he still made me laugh and entertain me at the time. Once he retired from wrestling, I found that his shoot interviews were some of the most listenable from former wrestlers. I could listen to the dude tell stories for hours on end. Today's video is a Hawk special. We've done his TNA run, but his 2002 WWE one would also count for Ring of the Hawk. As you can probably see, we've got a new leader for Season 2. I was planning on pushing that, but I won't now. If you want to know more, comment and I'll respond. No Hulk Hogan either today, folks, because the Hawk's raspy tones may affect what is sort of meant to be a tribute. Well, it's Scott Hall in 2002. This isn't exactly going to show him in a good light. But I expect he'll still be able to do what he did best, and that's entertain. So in early 2002, the WWE decided to bring the NWO back, even though it had gone on for far too long in WCW. But they made the smart decision that this incarnation of the group would be just the main players. It was a weird storyline where Vince McMahon referred to them as a poison that he wanted to inject into his own company to kill it. Yeah, okay. Scott Hall initially received strong booking mic time and the beginnings of a feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin. He hit Austin in the head with a wrench. They also poked fun at Scott Hall's drinking problems. Match 1, Raw. Scott Hall with Nash and Hogan. Hall with a good promo before the match. He says in his mind tonight's competitor will be treated the same as Stone Cold. And it's Spike Dudley. Not the re-debut match I was expecting. Hall throws his toothpick in Spike's face. Hall hits some strikes. Then almost straight away Spike reverses a suplex and gets a two count on the bad guy. Hall smacks him down for that one. Spike tries a crossbody now but he's caught and hit with the fall away slam. Scott Hall tries a corner clothesline but he gets a headbutt to the gut. Dudley tries the acid drop, but Hall drops him on the ropes, nutsack first. Kevin Nash and Hogan both interfere whilst Hall has the referee distracted. Back in the ring now, Scott Hall gives Spike a back suplex for the second rope. He motions to the crowd that it's time and he hits Spike with the outsider's edge for the three. A hard match to judge because it was short and Hall wasn't even in his wrestling gear. His facial expressions were good though. He's trying hard to get the crowd to hate him. His debut is a C because it made me want to see more of him. Match 2, Smackdown main event. Scott Hall in his wrestling gear, but without his buddies, versus The Rock. Okay, that's more like it. Rock charges the ring and he attacks Hall. Rocky quickly hits a DDT for a two count. Scott Hall thumbs Rock in the eye and hits a clothesline to turn it around. Rock gets straight back up to hit Elvis with a spine buster. The Rock puts on the sharpshooter, but he has to release the hold when he sees Hogan and Nash. Scott starts punching The Rock's injured ribs, but Rock fights back. Hogan trips The Rock up and beats him up on the outside of the ring. Hogan then puts him back in the ring and Hall pins him with his feet on the ropes. The Brahma Bull still kicks out at two. The Rock fights back again with punches, but his crossbody is caught and Hall hits the fall away slam for another two. Hall thinks it might be over already, but The Rock counts the razor's edge with a back body drop. The Rock out punches Hall now and he hits the Rock bottom. Kevin Nash climbs into the ring now, but The Rock takes care of him. Even though he can't fall out the ring properly. Hogan and Rock have a stare down and then there's a three on one beatdown. The match is thrown out. Stone Cold Steve Austin makes the save for The Rock. Oh, it would have been nicer to see this match go for a bit longer. What did Hall really have to do here except some punches and a fall away slam? It's a D, wish it was more. Match 3, Raw main event. 3 on 2 handicap match. The Rock teams up with the Texas Rattlesnake versus Hogan, Hall and Nash. Scott Hall will start this one with The Rock. Rock is distracted by Hogan which allows Hall to get the jump on him. The Rock fights back with punches. Scott Hall then ducks too soon and The Rock slams his face into the mat. The Rock hits a clothesline and he continues smacking Scott Hall around the ring. Nash takes a cheap shot now for the outside which enables Hall to hit a clothesline and tags Nash in. Scott Hall still takes cheap shots from the outside though. Later on Hogan tags Hall back into the match as they isolate The Rock. The Rock keeps punching Hall who manages a drop toe hold and he gets Nash back in. It's not enough and Austin still gets the tag. Stone Cold beats up all three members of the NWO. He also hits a spine buster on Scott Hall. Stone Cold managed to take the Outsiders down with a double clothesline, but moments later they slow him down. Hall now hits more punches and kicks on Austin. Then he gives him the fall away slam. What else would it be? It's a two. Later on, Hall clotheslines Austin down. Well, we get a new move from Hall now as he hits a choke slam to Austin. Hall can't follow it with the razor's edge and he gets back body dropped. Stone Cold's struggling to get out of the NWO corner, but then he gets a double down with Scott Hall. The Rock eventually gets the tag and he gives Scott a DDT. Scott's definitely taking more damage than the rest of the NWO. Hogan eventually beats The Rock with a big boot and a leg drop. 
After the match, Scott Hall gives Austin the stunner. Not feeling the book in a hall so far, he seems to be the one that loses his team's advantage each time. That's not his fault though, a D for this one, Hall looked a bit slow in the ring. Between this match and the next match, Hall apparently had been out all night partying, and they had Kevin Nash on standby to take Scott Hall's place in the next match in case he couldn't manage it. Match 4, WrestleMania 18, Stone Cold Steve Austin vs Scott Hall with Kevin Nash. Austin doesn't waste any time here as he stomps Hall down, Hall's still in his jacket as he fights back with some fists. The fight back doesn't last long as he gets a Lufez press. Stone Cold now throws Hall into the corner turnbuckle a million times, Hall has the bell for the match. Austin wasn't provoked but he still attacks Nash on the outside, he also smashes Hall into the steps. Back in the ring, Hall manages a half punch, half clothesline for a two. Hall's punches barely seem to be affecting the rattlesnake. Scott Hall now manages to throw Austin into an exposed turnbuckle and then Nash beats up Austin on the outside. Hall capitalises and hits a couple of corner clotheslines. And there it is, it's the Scott Hall special, the fall away slam. We go back to the previous formula now with Hall distracting the ref and Nash cheating. The crowd are even pretty quiet considering the two guys involved. Stone Cold manages a spine buster for a double down. When they get back up, Hall continues laying in the punches. He tries a big wind up punch but Austin counters with a stunner. The ref's about to count three when Nash pulls the ref from the ring. Nash beats up Austin whilst Hall fetches a steel chair. Nash holds Stone Cold steel but Hall can't hit him with the chair. Austin hits a stunner on both of them. The ref is still out but a new one arrives. Nash quickly drops him with an elbow drop. Now for the biggest moment of the match. Hall tries an outsider's edge but Austin counters it by throwing him out of the ring to the mats. Some geeks come and take Kevin Nash away. Hall now manages to fight off another stunner attempt and he actually hits one of his own. The ref has awoken but he still only counts a two. Hall tries another one which Austin fights off. He hits Hall with two more stunners and it ends. Just not good. Hall looked completely useless in this match and almost as soon as Kevin was removed, he lost. He had a better move range in fucking tits and asses. Hall just isn't being booked to look like any sort of credible threat. I can see why Austin didn't want this match, it's an F. What's interesting is I literally don't remember Scott Hall doing anything after WrestleMania and I'm sure some of you watching would be the same. Let's see what he got up to. Match 5, Raw Main Event Tag Match. Hall and Nash who are no longer getting an entrance versus Hulk Hogan who's turned face following his match with The Rock at Mania. And he teams up with that very man. Hall stamps on Hogan as he comes into the ring. Hogan no-sells and he lands some fists to Hall's face. Hogan follows that with a clothesline on Hall. He hits him with a scoop slam and throws his bandana in Hall's face. Hogan hits nine punches and a bite to Hall in the corner. The Rock and Hogan pinball Hall back and forth and now The Rock has the tag. He throws Hall face first into the mat. The Rock hits a spine buster and he wants the people's elbow but Nash on the outside stops him. Scott Hall hits a lucky clothesline and he brings his big buddy in. It goes much better for Nash and Hall is happy to come back in eventually. He hits a bunch of clotheslines and a discus punch. The Rock tries a comeback but he's stopped and thrown with pff, what else but a fall away slam. Surprisingly, it's actually Nash who loses his team's advantage in this match as he gets a rock bottom. Hogan has the tag and he instantly hulks up on Hall. Hogan hits the big boot and a leg drop to Hall and it's over. Wait, no it's not. Nash pulls Hall out the ring. Hall and Nash leave so they lose via countout. The crowd loudly boo. It certainly isn't going well for Scott Hall. He's certainly doing the J.O.B. left, right and centre. It sucks Solo Sequoia's oh, ass, isn't it? It was at this point I realised another reason that this NWO reboot isn't working. They aren't doing anything cool or funny. They're just two guys who make threats to beat people up and then they never do it. There's literally nothing else to them. Anyway, with Hogan gone, they drafted an X-Pack as a replacement. Match 6, Raw, 3 on 2 handicap match. Hulk Hogan once again teams up with The Rock to take on the three members of the NWO. Hogan and X-Pac will start this match. Speaking of X-Pac, let me know if you want me to do one of these for his time in WCW. X-Pac's too weak so he tags Hall in. Hall's also too weak. Scott Hall's a bad loser so he throws his toothpick in Hogan's face. He tags out as usual. Hogan beats up all three members of the NWO on his own. He smashes their heads together. The crowd are really enjoying chanting X-Pac sucks in this one. I think they missed him. Hall hits some punches to Hogan but they both clothesline each other for a double down. The Rock now gets the tag. He beats up all three guys and gives Hall a DDT. It looks like the match is over, but X-Pac saves the day of a spin kick when it looked like Hall was about to tap out to the sharpshooter. Then there's a big explosion and Kane is here. I guess this match is also over. X-Pac gets a chair kicked in his face and Kane chokeslams Hall. No, wait. The NWO actually awarded the victory here. Not sure it counts for much yet. It's another S. I feel bad for Hall. I thought there could be something to save this run, but it's heading straight for the shove it zone. Match 7, Smackdown, six man tag. Hogan, Kane and The Rock versus the NWO. Why am I even bothering? Scott Hall gets in after X-Pac kicks The Rock. He still tries to be entertaining, but unfortunately he comes across as a bit of an idiot because The Rock completely batters him. 
Hall does of course hit the fall away slam and then he bails. Later on The Rock hits Hall with a spine buster. It might seem like I'm cutting Hall doing stuff out but I promise you that I'm not. Hogan gives Hall the big boot and the leg drop. I don't think I've seen Hall land a single punch on Hogan during this video. Hall doesn't punch him but he does put a sleeper on but he can't make the Hulks to tap. Hogan fights it off and nails a backdrop suplex. Hogan tags out as once again the NWO team lose their advantage thanks to Scott Hall. Kane hits a top rope clothesline to Scott Hall. Kane then beats all three guys up at once and also hits a side slam to Scott Hall. The match breaks down and Kane wins with a choke slam on X Pac. This match was actually slightly better than the rest, to be fair. I'll give it a D. Hall actually wrestled a match on Sunday Night Heat. Hope that illustrates how little WWE thought of him at this point. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but I was intrigued, and this is partially a tribute video. I just won't be using this for grading. It's Elvis versus Crash Holly. What a weird match. Who would have thought these two ever had a match? Hall throws a toothpick at Mad Mikey, which angers him, and he drop kicks Hall twice. Crash then almost rolls Hall up in the corner. Crash Holly quickly does another roll up for another two. Eventually Crash is stopped by what else but the fall away slam. Hall does a new move now, it's the abdominal stretch. Then he puts on an almost STO. Hall wants to slam him but he gets a small package for a two. Scott Hall quickly takes Crash's head off of a clothesline. This is already better than any of the other matches. Scott Hall hits the choke slam for another two. He does the backdrop suplex off the second rope now. Scott Hall hits the razor's edge to end the match. There you go Hall, you just had to drop down to the sea show to get a win and a better match. Back on the main show now, Kevin Nash has been suspended by Ric Flair because in real life he has a bicep injury. So now we're just down to Hall and Pack in the NWO. Match 8, Raw main event, number 1 contendership match, Scott Hall with x Pack versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Not again. Austin jumps Hall straight away, he bounces Hall around the ring. Stone Cold starts choking Hall with his jacket. Austin now gets a one count on a scoop slam. Jesus, you thought their last clash was ugly, watch this one. Austin chops Hall around the outside of the ring. He gets him back in the ring and he whips Hall into the corner twice. Both time Hall looks clunky as he hits the turnbuckles. Stone Cold beats x Pack up for a bit now whilst Hall recovers. Back in the ring, Austin almost hits the stunner. Scott Hall is able to stop his offense for kick to the slash zone. Stone Cold falls to the outside of the ring where once again x Pack gets involved. Back in the ring, Hall almost wins with a clothesline. Oh god, now it gets worse. Hall puts on a sleeper which Austin tries to fight off with a backdrop, but Hall's leg gives out. Austin tries again and succeeds. Stone Cold now chokes him across the ropes. I wonder what they were saying to each other at this point. Stone Cold misses his dive and crashes into the ropes. Hall gets a two from this one. Bizarrely, Scott Hall heads to the second rope now, but he can't hit his axe handle when he gets a punch to the gut. Both men take each other out with a double clothesline. x Pac still cheating on the outside of the ring. Austin spears Hall and punches him. I think it was supposed to be a Luthez, then he follows it by doing an actual Luthez, so that confirms it. Austin tries to stunner, but there's a ref bump. Stone Cold hits a spine buster to both Hall and x Pac. The dead man runs out and he gives Stone Cold the choke slam. Bradshaw also comes out and he gets rid of The Undertaker. Amongst all the chaos, Scott Hall gets a two count. Hall picks up Austin and then there's another ref bump. Hall hits the fall away slam. x Pac and Hall are double teaming now. Ric Flair runs out to stop x Pac. Just after this, of course Stone Cold reverses the razor's edge. Stunner to x Pac and stunner to Hall and that's the three. Look, this was a really ugly match, but for some reason I enjoyed it. It actually felt like a main event for once. It was entertaining, but I'm not sure if that was down to Hall. I'm being sentimental, aren't I? Oh, it's no. an S. I just wanted him to do well. You'd think that this match would be enough proof that Hall and Stone Cold don't work well together. Well, someone obviously fought better than us. It doesn't seem to be going well at this point for Scott Hall, but we do get a funny backstage promo of Scott Hall and x Pat making fun of Bradshaw. Okay, it's slightly homophobic, but it reminded me of two friends hanging out. They could have been entertaining as a tag team. Match 9, Raw Main Event. 3 on 2 handicap match. The Undertaker teams up with Scott Hall and x Pat to take on Bradshaw and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bradshaw beats up Hall and x Pat whilst Austin and Taker fight. The crowd are all over x Pat like a bad shirt. Once again, Austin hits a pair of spine busters on the NWO. Hall finally gets in the match against Bradshaw. It doesn't go well and Bradshaw clubs him in the back. Big Bradshaw also gives him a DDT. Austin has the tag now and he puts Hall on Dream Street. Undertaker interferes which allows Hall to hit the fall away slam, the FAS on Austin. As usual, Hall is the reason his team lose the advantage. Scott Hall then gets upset in this one because Bradshaw steals his only move. Hall tried to stop him but Bradshaw kicks him and Hall doesn't go down. He's determined to stop it. Bradshaw has to kick him again. Come on Bradshaw, you could have used literally any move. Bradshaw wins with the clothesline from hell on x Pack. Hall is a bad loser and gives him the fall away slam. 
This just wasn't good. I don't need to say anything else. It wasn't good. Match 10, Backlash 2002. Scott Hall with X-Pac. I can't be alone in thinking this would have been better with X-Pac instead of Hall. And he takes on Brad Shaw. Hall doesn't seem to be intimidated by Bradshaw. Farouk then decides to come to ringside to nullify X-Pac. Scott Hall throws his toothpick at Bradshaw and finds it hilarious. Bradshaw doesn't find it funny. After a bunch of punches, Bradshaw hits a DDT which gets him a two count. Scott Hall bails from the ring but he backs into Farouk. Farouk beats Hall and X-Pac up. Hall back in the ring now almost gets beaten by Bradshaw elbow. Bradshaw gets another two on a suplex. Scott Hall is once again on Dream Street. Hall comes back with some punches of his own. He chokes Bradshaw across the ropes which enables X-Pac to cheat again. Scott Hall's getting really cocky in this match and he keeps patting Bradshaw on his head. Bradshaw gets a double down from a big shoulder block. The commentary team take time to talk about how ugly this match is as Bradshaw hits a big boot. Out of nowhere Hall turns into the clothesline from hell but X-Pac puts his foot on the ropes. So much for Farouk. Bradshaw's distracted by X-Pac and Farouk. Whilst that's going on Scott Hall wins with a low blow and a roll up. Wow, just wow. It's a D because he won, but this match did nothing for either guy. Bradshaw lost, so he wasn't elevated, and Hall was dragged down to the mid-card for Bradshaw. I forgot this was even a pay-per-view match. Match 11, Raw main event tag. Scott Hall and X-Pac vs The Big Show and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can see why he was annoyed with his direction at this time. X-Pac tries to fight The Big Show, but that's a waste of time. Hall doesn't do much better, and his toothpick only anchors The Big Show more. Hall asks for Austin to come in for some reason. Austin punches everyone until Scott Hall manages a knee lift on him. That barely affects Stone Cold who shortly after hits Spinebusters both of them. Austin stomps a mud hole on both Pack and Hall at the same time. Scott Hall eventually dodges Austin's attack on the ropes. Scott Hall now hits the FAS. Moments later Austin's back in it with the Lufez press. Hall and Pack keep cheating whilst they do the abdominal stretch. Earl sees it and kicks them apart. The match trundles on for a while more yet. Later on Stone Cold fights off a sleeper with a jawbreaker and Scott does a ridiculous oversell. Austin manages to tag in the Big Show after a very long time. Unfortunately the Big Show chokeslams his own partner and joins the NWO. No winner is given for this match. The Big Show has turned heel. This one's a D. Match 12, Special Referee Tag. The Special Referee is the Nature Boy for a match between Hall and X-Pac versus Bradshaw and... Ah, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who would have thought that this feud would last almost this entire video? I can find literally nothing original to say about this match as Hall has faced off with both of these guys multiple times at this point. There's a weird moment where Hall asks X-Pac to do something but it feels like they freeze for ages. Austin has to just stand there gormlessly. Bradshaw is now having a really easy time with Scott Hall. He hits the suplex and the net breaker. Later on Scott Hall hits the FAS on Bradshaw. Austin hits a spine buster on both members of the NWO. Later Stone Cold hits the stunner on X-Pac but Hall puts his foot on the ropes. Flair counts the three anyway, so the NWO was screwed, who cares. They were definitely going to win this match if that hadn't happened. Shabby! It's an S. Hall still gets to cut promos despite his bad booking. I find myself much more interested when he talks compared to when he wrestles. Match 13, final match, six man tag. Scott Hall, Pac and The Big Show versus Ric Flair, Bradshaw and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh great, it's 15 minutes. Is that really necessary? Stone Cold spinebusters the NWO. Stone Cold slams their heads together. Stone Cold says he has enough of beating up Hall and Pack, and he asks for the Big Show to join the match. I don't blame him, it's too easy for him. Austin gets annoyed because Bradshaw tags himself in. Bradshaw punches Hall causing him to dance around in the ring like Last Call and Barrow Finesse on a Thursday. Hall jabs him in the eyelid to slow him down. Scott Hall then gives Bradshaw the fall away slam whilst I struggle to stay awake. Big Show has already done more than Scott Hall during his entire run. He choke slams Bradshaw for a table. Stone Cold does a double stunner on Hall and X-Pac. Austin and Show now wrestle for what feels like an eternity whilst the other NWO members seem to fade away. Then there's a ref bump. Austin hits the stunner but no ref. Then Ric Flair smashes Austin in the face of a chair. That double stunner keeps Hall and X-Pac down for 5 minutes. This was a sleeper match, in the sense that it put me to sleep, not the other kind. No entertainment to be found here. No winner is declared for this match. On the next episode of Raw, Ric Flair announces that he's fired Scott Hall due to dropping the ball against Austin, multiple times. In reality, Scott Hall had asked for his release. He rocked up in TNA not long after this. This just wasn't good, and it wasn't a good way to remember the bad guy, I'm sorry Shove It Squad. His TNA run was actually better than this, at least he had some competitive main event matches in TNA. Well, not in 2010. Why did WWE keep having him face Stone Cold Steve Austin and Bradshaw? That clearly wasn't helping the situation. Scott Hall's final grade for Ring of the Hawks Season 2. 
is an S. But don't take this as hate on the bad guy, I just grayed what was in front of me. And it wasn't good, come on guys. What was good about this? I still love the one that looks like Elvis though. Rest in peace bad guy.